I want to talk to you about gaslighting at work. Now, a lot of us are aware that gaslighting can take place in an intimate relationship, but I want you to know that it can take place anywhere, including at your workplace. And I want to talk to you about three things you can do to keep an eye out if gaslighting is happening at your work. The first one is called, when did you stop beating your wife questions? These are questions that have no good answer. You get a call out of nowhere from a coworker and they angrily say, didn't you know you were supposed to be at the meeting at 11 a.m. today? There's no good answer to that. If the answer is yes, I did know, that means you decided not to go. If the answer is no, I didn't know, that means that you're negligent. Either way, you have failed. You are wrong. There is no good answer to that question. If you're getting those questions, that could be a sign that you are being gaslit at work. The second one is energy. When you are being gaslighted at work, it is almost always coming from someone very close to you at work. If you have to then go to a meeting where you're with people who are far away, suddenly the energy feels different. Suddenly they keep saying things like, you're doing a great job. Wow, that was a great comment. Wow, I really appreciate you being here. And you think, why is this so different? It's because the gaslighter has been gaslighting you for months and it's causing you to feel terrible. So if you go away and you suddenly feel a very different energy, that is a sign that you're being gaslit. The last one is a very practical one, either in person or by email. The gaslighter will take the time and effort to link or to make sure that your direct support, your boss, your manager, hear them saying those questions like the first one. They will send an email to you saying, why weren't you at that meeting at 11 a.m.? And they will CC in, copy in your boss. Or they will make that casual comment at uh, a meeting in front of your boss. That is key gaslighting behavior at work. The final thing that I want to say is, if you are being gaslit at work, obviously take whatever steps you need to protect yourself. But the most likely thing is that you need to leave. The most likely thing is that you are going to need to start looking for another position because that gaslighter is a narcissist. They have decided that you should not be there and you are their favorite subject for torment. You don't deserve that. Be safe out there, everyone.